can you drive a hybrid without the hybrid battery? Simple answer is yes, but not all hybrids. Not all hybrids are the same. Some hybrids don't have a direct connection from the gasoline engine to the drive wheels. And that would cause a problem if you're trying to remove the hybrid battery. One car I know this probably would not work on is the Chevy Volt because the gasoline engine in that car is not connected directly to the drive wheels. It's used as a generator for the battery. So you might ask yourself, why would you drive the car without the hybrid battery? One instance would be the hybrid battery has gone bad and the car isn't worth enough to justify replacing the battery. That just happens to be my case with the car behind me. I bought this car for $700. I knew it had a bad hybrid battery at the time, but I was planning on doing an engine swap eventually to it, so I didn't really care. I decided I was gonna wait to do the engine swap and make it so I could drive the car just on the gasoline engine to save some gas money. So as you can see here, this is where the hybrid battery used to be. I completely removed it. This was the panel that was connected to the side of the hybrid battery. What I learned with this, you can turn this breaker off, which kills the power going to the battery. You connect everything else back up except the battery control module. It works exactly like a normal car would. This right here is a DC to DC converter. That has to be hooked up in order to charge the 12 volt battery under the hood. This is the engine on the inside. It's a three cylinder engine. It has 67 horsepower. That right there is the number one reason not to drive a hybrid without the hybrid battery. So having only 67 horsepower in a car is not ideal when you're trying to drive on the interstate at 75 miles an hour with semis and everything around you. Why don't we take the car for a spin and I'll show you why. It does not accelerate very fast. To the floor. over 3800 rpm it will stop charging the 12 volt battery the battery light and the handbrake light turn on for some reason it will no longer charge you can see right here at this it says 11.5 volts it only lasts for about 15 to 30 seconds and then it comes back on when you're driving at night it can be more of a problem because your lights will slowly get dimmer and dimmer until it turns back on and starts charging again it still gets really good gas mileage though just cruising down the highway or even the interstate you can get around 40 to 50 miles to the gallon. So is removing battery possible? Yes. Should you do it? It depends on your circumstances. If you're waiting for a new battery and you need to drive the car and don't have any options, sure, remove it and send it in to be repaired. Drive it like that for a little while till you get your new battery. If you buy a really cheap one like I did, a $2,000 or $3,000 battery isn't worth it, then just remove it and drive it like that. It still works. You can still get up to speed. You may not be winning any races, but it's still functional. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this, please uh, like it and subscribe. We'll see you later.